up welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new my name is Kat today I am going to be doing a different type of video it's going to be a new series that I might start it's going to be called puzzle tips and today I'm going to be talking about how we sort our jigsaw puzzles so before we actually get started with the information of this video I'm going to insert a time lapse here of us sorting one of our most recent jigsaw puzzles. If you guys want to see the full time lapse of this puzzle and the final picture of it, head over to our Instagram, Puzzling Through Life, as I have that posted over there. So without further ado, let's get on with the sorting time lapse. So this video is just going to be on how we sort our regular jigsaw puzzle pieces. This is not going to include shaped puzzles because those you want to sort just a little bit different. So the first thing that we do is actually sort our pieces by different categories. So the categories that we usually do are colors. So blue, pink, black, white, purple, whatever colors there is a large majority of. If there's only just a few pieces that are pink, then we might just leave those out off to the side and quickly put those together and then just have a small little piece uh, sitting there waiting for us to attach it. So the next category is people slash animals. So what we do for people, if it is just a bunch of small little heads like daddle puzzles do, then we just throw them all into a bowl. And then just as we go, we will do all the people at once. If it is a bigger puzzle, like our next one, kind of a sneak peek to our next video, is actually going to be the Your Graphic Kitten Pride puzzle that I did in my last jigsaw puzzle haul. If you guys want to go check out that video and you guys can see uh, what puzzle it is, but it has a bunch of different cats. So we try to sort out the different cats uh, so we can just sit there and work on one. But that does get kind of tricky when some cats are the same color, same texture, etc. Same thing with people. If uh, one person, two people actually, are wearing pink, you're not going to know which one is really wearing it. So we just throw both pinks in there. And so you're kind of working on two uh, pieces at the same time, but in the end, it works out better than just having all the pieces just thrown out everywhere. The next category is building. Same thing as the people. If it is a bunch of small little buildings, then we would just throw all those into one little bowl. But we tried the majority of the time to sort buildings by brick or if it's vinyl, etc. We try to do that. Uh, it does get tricky sometimes with the Charles Osaki ones because they do a lot of their buildings kind of the same way, but a large majority of the time you can kind of figure out which, uh, which building is which building. The next category is grass, ocean, sand. Kind of the same thing. We just throw all the grass into one, all the ocean into one, all of the sand into one, and you just work on that as you go. That's probably pretty much the easiest part of the puzzle because you know where the grass is going to be. The grass is more than likely going to be at the bottom. You know where the ocean is going to be. It may be at the bottom or it may be, you know, it may meet the sky, etc. So uh, those are probably the easiest to sort, uh, but they are probably not the most fun of a puzzle. And then the last category is the edges. The most obvious ones you of course want to sort out your edges. So that will be a very easy guide and start for you. If we get tired of sorting, then we just throw all the leftover pieces in a we don't know what it is box. And then as we go along, we will sit there and sort that. And we know usually if we're looking for a pink piece and it's not in the pink uh, bowl, more than likely it's in the I don't know what it is box. And so we'll grab that, find the piece we need, and then just go along with our puzzling adventure. We also sort as we go along doing the puzzles. So sometimes we don't get all the pieces sorted that we want to get sorted at the very beginning. Or as we go along, we realize, oh, hey, we need another bowl for this or this or this. We may have realized that we put three buildings into one bowl and then we're able to sort that out. So definitely have more bowls or whatever you use to put your pieces in on hand. Another tip is some people turn over all of their pieces where the picture is on top at the very beginning. We actually do it as we go. We feel like it is a lot quicker to do it that way. And you can just flip it over, look at it. Uh, okay, it's pink, throws it into the pink, uh, into the pink bowl. So that is something to keep in mind. That's just, I think, preference of the puzzler. Um, but that is also another tip. 
So now we're going to get into the different type of things that you can use to sort your puzzle pieces. So this is what we use. We just get these bowls at Walmart and they're super easy to replace and they're just easy to grab. Uh, they do get pretty dirty with puzzle dust, but they're just, like I said, easy to grab more if you need more. And they're also very inexpensive. This is probably one of the most inexpensive ways that you can sort puzzle pieces. I know some people use sorting trays and there's a whole bunch of different brands that make them. I think Ravensburger makes some, maybe like Seco or Buffalo. I, I'm not really sure. I'm not really educated on the puzzling trays. I'm going to try to put one up here on the screen. Those are definitely a lot nicer quality than using a bowl, but they are also more expensive. So whatever's in your price range is whatever probably works best for you. When my mom was younger and did puzzles with her mom, they just used different puzzle box tops. Uh, that is just something that we don't like to do because we're worried we have a cat that he is going to get into those boxes and steal puzzle pieces from us. So what about if there is a large area of one color? So like I was mentioning earlier, there could be a large area of ocean or grass or whatever and you kind of you put all the blue into one bowl but now you're just stuck with this massive amount of blue pieces well then we sort by piece shape we don't usually put these into bowls we just usually lay them out in front of us but some different puzzle type pieces are the double wing the irregular the regular and the double ear if you get stuck while you're doing a puzzle this is definitely one of the best methods to turn to so a quick fun fact for you guys, did you know that each 1,000 piece puzzle takes 30 minutes to sort? So if you're sorting a 2,000 piece, you're more than likely sorting for at least an hour. That is insane. That is so, 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 so long. <laughs> That is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button. If you have some other puzzle tip videos that you would like to see, leave them down in the comments. I'm definitely open to hearing some suggestions as I don't really know where else to take this series, but I think it's a pretty fun series and I definitely want to continue it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that like button and make sure that you also go follow our Instagram puzzling through life as we do post, try to post weekly puzzle content. I will see you guys in my next week's video. Bye.